If solar and wind is going to account for 50 percent of global energy generation by 2050, where are we now and what facilitates that shift? Hello from London. Um, so as you said, we published our uh, long term forecast uh, earlier today. And what we have seen is a profound change to the global power system. Since the 1970, uh, we had coal, uh, gas, oil producing about 70% of electricity across the world. But we see that this 50-year situation is coming to an end. So solar and wind are expected to generate 50% of total electricity across the world. And the reason is no other than costs. Solar, wind, batteries are getting uh, extremely cheap. We think that uh, over the next 30 years, a uh, global uh, power sector will attract about $11.5 trillion, um, and 70% of this, so $8.4 trillion, will be invested in solar and wind. And uh, one reason is, as I said, solar and wind getting cheaper. The other is batteries. So this is the first time that we see how the declining cost of batteries will affect um, solar and wind penetration. We, we expect about half a trillion dollars to be invested in batteries, uh, batteries installed at the grid level, but also batteries installed by households and businesses. And these batteries will help solar and wind meet demand even when it's not windy and when it's not sunny. And this means that they will eat from um, a market that had traditionally uh, being dominated by coal and gas. I mean, so there are quite a few changes that we expect in the market. This is quite fascinating. I mean, the fact that you're saying a $550 billion investment in um, battery capacity. And to your point here, part of the problem here with renewables is that you simply can't store it. So you have it in the moment, particularly with things like wind power. You can't store that capacity. How do you see that evolving as we head towards 2052? Yes, that's exactly one of the big challenges that solar and wind have. But uh, the continuously declining cost of batteries, so we have seen an almost 80% decline in uh, battery costs since 2010, and we expect batteries to be 70% cheaper by 2050 wow. compared to today's prices. And this is what makes um, solar and wind what we call it dispatchable. So this is what makes possible shifting electricity um, from solar and wind to ours that, as I said, it's not sunny and it's, it's not windy.